I was just walking down Bleecker Street and I started singing the Simon and Garfunkel song about Bleecker Street. Everybody has a million stories based on music. It's Bridget O'Neill from the soundtrack series Off the Record. I, why am I saying that? Okay, so what's your name? I am Alex Mann. Alex Mann. And you're, I heard that you're telling a story tonight. I am. I'm talking about Sympathy for the Devil by the Rolling Stones. Okay. Are you bummed out that you're not going to see Jeremy Lin play tonight for the Knicks? No. Don't care. Not no. a basketball guy. No. Okay. I'd rather people come here to see me. That That's not humble. No. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? This is coming off the top of my head. Have you ever had a crush on a first cousin? No. What kind of, come, on, come on. What kind of question is that? Uh, well, yeah, it's a question because I have major hots for my cousin. Like, Do you like know? major hots. So, any relatives that you ever had a crush on? No. Who do you have the hots for? Like if Jennifer Love Hewitt. Who? Jennifer Love Hewitt. And tell me the truth. Why do you like Jennifer Love Hewitt? Because I gotta say, during the whole like puberty phase, she was really big. Her chest was big like, or she was big? Oh, chest was big, yeah. but she was also, you know. Let's talk about Whitney Houston. Um, how did you feel about it being at her funeral being televised? You like that? <laughs> um, I didn't watch it. It's worse than porn. Kind of weird. Yeah, it's really it's funeral porn. Funeral Death porn. porn. What? What? I don't funeral know. Porn. You're not gonna use any of this. So that's Wait, it. what do you call those people that have sex with stiffies? I mean that <laughs> with stiffs. Yes. Is that what you're talking about? No. Okay. I wasn't either. I wasn't either. Lindsay also knows Dana, and this is her husband, Jeff. Um, and I wanted to ask you also, this is what I wanted to ask. Uh, Whitney Houston, did you ever have like a Bobby Brown in your life, meaning someone that's like, that you love, but that's very bad for you? I did, actually, uh, and I almost married him. So, I was 19, though, so it's, it's a long time ago. But, uh, 19? I don't even think I had my period at 19, but that, wow, oh, that's awesome, that's hot. Was he Bobby Brown bad? Um, he was, uh, he wasn't like a, like, beady. I don't know if Bobby Brown was beady, actually, I might be, like, probably so, right? I'm thinking of Chris Brown. He was bad influence. <laughs> bad, bad influence on her. Um, yes, bad influence, um, and, uh, like, jealous and, like, possessive. Yeah. I mean, that was his prerogative, though. <laughs> Did your boyfriend get you into like crack? Some of the street stuff? I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know how to do crack. Did, did you guys do crack for a little bit? I mean, for a little bit? No, no, never crack. One of my friends did um, K once. I still don't really know what it is. Special K? Maybe. I don't know. Some never sort of K. It. I thought it was potassium. I was not. I was a dork. Yeah. I did a lot of K. Huh. And then I would do like the running man. So it was, it was hot. This guy vomited out of his nose. It wasn't. This is the guy that you didn't marry. Didn't marry. How could you say no to that? Oh. Woo! Uh, why are you here at the soundtrack series? I'm here because I've been coming for uh, uh, almost since the, the very beginning and I try not to ever miss it. A lot of funny, sad stories. But there's hope in it too. It's a great time every time we come. Ladies and gentlemen, 